Today, we're in Burlington. It's nearing the midterms. We're going to ask people about the two new amendments that are on their ballots. Prop 2, um, whether we want to abolish slavery in the Vermont Constitution, and Prop 5, Amendment 22, whether we want to codify reproductive autonomy um, and the government not controlling reproductive rights in the Vermont Constitution. What do you hope to find? Uh, you hear first, my name is Olivier, and I hope to just get a different opinion of everybody in our community. I hope to find if what I think about these two amendments on our ballot is correct. Mm, hi, my name is Chance, and then I just want to know about more about what people do with say about Burlington. All right, let's get started. So right now, uh, midterm elections are coming up for Vermont, and there are two uh, things that are a little out of the ordinary on the ballot. Um, Prop 2, which outlaws uh, slavery and indentured servitude in the Vermont Constitution, and uh, Prop 5, which doesn't allow the government to um, infringe upon bodily autonomy. What are your thoughts on these two amendments? They're going to be put into or taken out? They're going to be put into. You can oh, them. whoa. That means that allows that kind of behavior? No, no, it means it doesn't allow it. Oh, so it's like, it's kind of adding a little more security to society. Oh, yeah, no, we, you know, we love that. You definitely want to make sure that everyone's in a safe environment, safe, comfortable area that everyone can thrive in. You know, you definitely want to make sure that you're taking care of other people's needs that may not have a voice. You know, and I think that this getting passed and this can allow more people that don't have that voice to really feel like they're being heard and being taken care of. Yeah, I'm all for it. Long overdue, both things. And I, I sometimes wonder why these things weren't done sooner. Uh, I kind of wonder if maybe uh, a lot of people were very comfortable before, and I'm going to use, you know, like say Trump. He just like, kind of kicked over the hornet's nest. I think a lot of people started realizing the fragility of their the laws. And yeah, I'm all for him. That's uh, <laughs> that's appalling. I um, what is the thing that? Wait, hold on. I need to think about this. What's the question exactly? What like my thoughts on it? I guess just on that. Um, well, I thought indentured servitude was left in like the 1800s or something, but I'm shocked to hear that that's still in Vermont's constitution. Um, I cannot believe slavery is still in the Constitution. I just definitely that needs to be overturned or like we need to get rid of that. I don't know the technical political terms, but um, in the midterm elections, please get rid of that. <laughs> um, I don't want anybody controlling my body. I think it's a woman's choice what to do with her body. I don't think the government should be legislating um, like anything controlling or it's bas it's just misogynistic honestly because if this was happening to men it wouldn't be happening like it's just not <laughs> okay I support um, amendment 22 for Vermont because uh, we should have our own um, law for Vermont and not have Congress tell you you can't woman can't have a right to choose or uh, Supreme Court telling you that you can't have a right to choose. So I support that, even though I'm a guy. I still support that and I plan on voting yes on that. Okay, well, Prop 2. Now, I've got them confused. Prop 2 is which one? Prop 2 is the one of including um, indentured servitude on what okay. is banned. Now, as far as that goes, all right, abolishing that is great. Now, one of the things that they talk about is the, the servitude during incarceration. The one thing that they don't tell you is that the inmates are working for time off of their sentence, all right? And they wouldn't be able to have time off of their sentence, that kind of opportunity, if they weren't a model inmate or close to a model inmate. You know, so that's a little bit, that's a little bit iffy and it can get a little bit weird. And if people that don't understand it, you know, really don't, that's part of 
how it goes because we weren't in dent when when I did my time with the corrections department we weren't indentured we were paid mm-hmm. all right we weren't paid like everybody else but we were still paid and we were supplied with lunch you know and it's just it was what it was we weren't paid the money that we were supposed to be but the state's paying a lot of money to try and teach us a lesson you know so this way it's a little give and take and with them it's mostly take but you know you'll have that now what are your thoughts on prop five which is um banning like making it so that people are allowed to get abortions and don't have the government up in their business. I think, I think that if a woman wants, if a woman becomes pregnant and does not want to be, okay, it could be one of three reasons, okay, either health-wise, it ain't going to work, Living wise, it ain't gonna work because she got problems. Or it's gonna work. All right. If it's not gonna work, you know, don't leave it up to the man to, for lack of a better phrase, wrap his rascal. Make sure he does. Then we don't have to worry about an abortion. Okay, but in the cases that we do, rape, incest, and all of that, don't get in the way. Mm -hmm. Don't get in the way of the people. Remember, this was for the people and by the people, and I was one of those people that put three years in of everyday life. All right, and I worked the hottest spot in the world, the DMZ in Korea. Okay, so, nah, man, Uh -uh. uh-uh, uh-uh. Okay, the Bush in one on my opinion is it depends the way you want sometimes you can get pregnant for someone and then he doesn't want to take care for that and then you don't have anything to do you don't have sometimes a family and then you just have like you decide what you want the best because when you get pregnant and then you don't have someone to help you the life is so hard on my opinion I can just take out if I don't have a life because I want my life to be good. Maybe in futures, if I want, I will have and keep. So I don't think if it's like to tell someone like what to do and what to not do. Everybody has a choice in life. So that's the only thing I have to say. Thank you. Bye.